Hey friends, today in our series of 100 days of believing bigger, we are going to be talking about blessing blockers again. And today's title is facts. Yes, facts can be a blessing blocker. And if you're like me at first, that kind of sounds weird. That doesn't sound like it makes sense. But hold tight and we're going to take a look together and see why facts can become blessing blockers in our life. Facts may be truth, but they're not the whole truth. You see, God operates in the unseen. That's the very nature of him, to create something out of nothing. We see this beginning in the very book of Genesis. On day 55, Marshawn writes, the enemy loves to rationalize, to twist facts and tell half truths. Because God operates in the unseen realm and because his provision is limitless, facts don't tell the full picture, especially when God is writing the story. Remember the little boy with two fish and five loaves of bread and thousands of hungry people? Well, let's go ahead and look at John chapter six, verse nine. Reading from the NIV version, it says, here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many? The facts say that there is no way that there was enough food for thousands of people, but God said there was. What would facts say about Daniel being in a lion's den? What would facts say about David going up against someone so much bigger than him? Someone so big, in fact, that he was known as a giant. What would facts say about Esther being a Jewish girl coming from nothing? And would she be able to step into the position of being queen? and save her people. Now, what do facts say about you? Do facts say that your bank account says no? But when God has something in store for you, it doesn't matter what your bank account says. It doesn't matter what your physical stature says. It doesn't matter what the doctor says. All that matters is what God has in plan for you and how you are going to step into that with faith. Marshawn writes, when we trust in the unseen and expect what we haven't experienced, that's the very invitation God responds to. This is the type of next level, bigger belief needed to enter and experience the incredible. If the only things happening in our life were happening with things that we could control ourselves, that made perfect sense, that everyone sees as possible, then we wouldn't be prone to turn our eyes to God. And so the beauty in God overcoming these facts is that we draw closer to him that we see his hand in these things and that we know that there is no way that these things are possible without God. Let's go ahead and look at our question of the day. What facts have been blocking you from seeing what God is actually saying, revealing, and doing? Well, I'll tell you one fact for me is that I do not have hardly any technical skills especially when it comes to video and video editing. But I'm not letting that fact hold me back. There's no one that I could go up and argue against that would say that I have awesome video skills. That would be a lie. But I do have an awesome God. So I'm just going to plug forward knowing that no matter what the facts say, that God is in control. And if he wants something to be blessed, it will be blessed. I hope that this ministers to your spirit today. If there's something that you've been telling yourself that these are the facts and facts are facts. God doesn't care about facts when he has a supernatural movement to do. He can change any situation at any time. Another YouTuber that I watched this morning, she said that and I will 
uh, link her video to that in a comment below if it allows me to do so. Let's go ahead and close in prayer today. Lord, I'm here to be a faith warrior and a way maker. Give me the wisdom to discern what to receive and what to ignore as I press deeper into my destiny. Amen. Thank you for joining me here today for day 55 of Marshawn Evans Daniels devotional series, 100 Days of Believing Bigger. This is a journal based on her book, and you can find this on dayspring.com, on amazon.com, uh, lots of different places if you just do a search on that. So join us back again for day 56, where we are going to continue talking about blessing blockers, and we are going to break these down day by day because brothers and sisters, you have big things to do for the kingdom of God. And so do I. So let's do them together. Thank you for your prayers and for your support. And know that I'm praying for you too. If you have any prayer requests, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And know that I will be praying for you on those also. Thank you again and have a blessed day. Bye.